Intraoral scans provide an alternative to conventional PVS impressions, where the patient's teeth are scanned and the digital model is used for the creation of the treatment setup and the fabrication of aligners later on. Scans have proven to be as accurate as conventional impressions and are more comfortable and easier to process. For quality intraoral scans, follow the scanner manufacturer instructions you are using on the best way to obtain the scan for both arches. Make sure you use a scanner that can export STL files or that can send your scans directly to Eon. After filling in the patient's information into your scanner system, wait for the scanner to defog before starting the scan. Most scanners will take a few seconds to heat the tip and prevent fogging of the lens when inserted into the patient's mouth. Sit behind the patient for best control, dry the patient's teeth, and start scanning the lower arch. For most scanners, it is best to start from the occlusal surface of the terminal molar and begin scanning the entire occlusal part of the arch while making sure the scanner is kept flat on the occlusal surface. When you capture the occlusal surface of the terminal molar, move toward the bicuspid on the same side while scanning the occlusal surfaces of molars and premolars. And when you reach the bicuspid, tilt the scanner slightly lingual and scan the lingual surfaces of anterior teeth until you reach the contralateral bicuspid, where you proceed by moving the tip right back to the occlusal surface and move steadily toward the terminal molar, scanning the occlusal surfaces of premolars and molars. Once you reach the terminal tooth, rotate the scanner to the lingual, keeping around 45 degrees tilt to the lingual. Continue around the arch steadily making sure you capture all the interproximal anatomy of the lingual surface. When the lingual is completed, rotate to the buccal surface with rocking motion to capture the interproximal anatomy and go around the buccal surface from the posterior to anterior and the same for the opposite side. This technique reduces the interference from the cheeks and lips and provides a smoother scanner experience. Now that the buccal surface is captured, the incisal anatomy of the anterior is scanned by placing the scanner tip lingually behind the cuspid and lateral and rolling from the lingual surface to the incisal edge to the buccal surface. Repeat on the contralateral side. Inspect the captured scan for holes and make sure enough gingival margin is captured. Three to five millimeters is usually enough. In case there are holes or missing gingival margin, rescan the area required. There is no need to rescan the whole arch. The same scanning sequence can be used for the upper arch, although some scanner manufacturers recommend the scan to the buccal surface before the lingual for the upper arch. Make sure you scan the palate by starting from the rugae area and then rolling right and left as you go posteriorly toward the soft palate. When both upper and lower scans are captured and inspected, it's time for capturing the bite. The correct bite should be inspected before starting the scan. Ask the patient to open wide. Insert the scanner tip against the buccal cheeks facing the teeth perpendicularly. Ask the patient to bite and start the scan capturing three to four teeth in centric occlusion. Do the same for the opposite side. Inspect the scan after it has been processed. Check for solid incisal edges, interproximal anatomy, terminal molars, enough gingival margins, and the correct bite. When you are satisfied with your digital scan, it can either be exported as an STL file to be sent directly to Eon through the Eon Access Portal. Alternatively, a third-party option is available for certain scanners to send files directly from your scanner. 